So we have Nikita who has done a bachelor's of arts in economics from St Xavier's College and she has also done her master's of sciences in economic history from the London School of Economics and Political Science. So Nikita, what were your majors and concentrations and why did you select them? So um, as you've mentioned already, I have a BA in economics. I also have a minor in English literature and anthropology. Um, so I suppose I chose economics because I was good at it in up to the 12th standard. So I decided to just carry forward in college. And it seemed like a, a viable degree in terms of careers and what I could do with it in the future. Um, I chose economic history specifically because while I was doing my bachelor's, I wrote a paper on economic history and I really enjoyed working on that. And so I wanted to keep doing that for a little while. And I thought that it would be an opportunity to really gain research experience rather than um, the quantitative side of economics. Okay, great. So what was the admission procedure at both these colleges and how did you prepare for it? Uh, so at Xavier's, I was at Xavier's for my 11th and 12th as well. So it was relatively easy for me to carry on to do my BA. So I just gave my board exam. After we got the results, I just had to fill in a form and I was pushed in on in-house quota. So I think that was relatively straightforward. Um, for the London School of Economics, I had to um, give my give a GRE. I had to give the IELTS, which is the English language test. Um, and then I had to write a statement of purpose explaining why I wanted to um, study there and do that course. I submitted all of that along with my transcripts um, uh, letters of recommendations from two of my professors and um, all of that put together I submitted that package and yeah that was considered okay great so in your view which other universities would be comparable to both these universities for the courses you chose um, I think for economics there are a few I, I mean there are I also applied I think my second preference at the time was Jehind. Um, but if you're looking sort of across India, I think um, Stephens in Delhi is a good one. Ashoka. There are quite a few, although I can't think of any in Mumbai specifically. Uh, for economic history, I think LSE is one of the few universities in the world that has a... a that offers an MSc in economic history. Um, so apart from that, I mostly applied to uh, do an MSc in economics. Um, and I applied to universities like um, Warwick and the University of Edinburgh, University of St. Andrews. So I think those would be comparable. I think Oxford and Cambridge are good ones, but I would never have gotten in. So. Okay. So which subjects are both these universities known for? Um, economics, I think both of them. Okay. So I mean, have you done has them in the title? Okay. So have you done any online courses? I am currently doing an online course on R for data science, the statistical software R. So what guidance would you give students who are considering applying to both these universities? Um, well, get good grades, obviously, I think, um, in your 12th and then consistently through college, you would need good grades. Um, also, definitely do your research, especially if you're applying for master's programs. Um, you know, maybe look at the courses that they offer or the professors teaching there, really sort of, if you know anyone there, talk to them, really do your research for applying rather than just going okay great thank you nikita for your time and your advice and i wish you all the best sure thank you good luck